Hey guys, Disney Freak 39 here, and this is all 114 Disney Infinity figures, including the never before released Peter Pan figure. Let's go over my collection. So I keep all of my Disney Infinity figures in this three layer bin, and it's separated by the release. So you have 3.0 at the bottom, 2.0 in the middle, and then you have 1.0 at the top. And then I have all of my power discs over here, all of my Infinity bases over the years that I've collected, all of my play sets, and this is the base that works with my Xbox Series X, and that's why it's at the very, very top. So in Disney Infinity 1.0, in the starter pack, you got Mr. Incredible, Sully, and Captain Jack Sparrow. And in the starter pack with this, you also got the playset for all three of those movies. So you have Monsters, Inc., Pirates of the Caribbean, and The Incredibles. Sully right over here, Mike Wazowski, Randall, and then there was an exclusive crystal version of Sully, which is the exact same version of Sully, but a crystallized version of him. For The Incredibles, you had Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, Violet Witch, her head came off and it's because her head is so skinny that it was easily breakable off of the figure. I tried nail gluing it, as you can see there's like nail glue on it, but her head always finds a way to come off. Dash, Syndrome, and a crystal version of Mr. Incredible. For the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, we have Jack Sparrow, Davy Jones, Captain Barboza, and then finally a crystal version of Jack Sparrow. Next, we have the Lone Ranger playset. Now, this playset was probably one of the most forgettable things in Disney Infinity, and you got the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and I also have the crystal version of the Lone Ranger. The next playset we're gonna go over is the Cars playset. You got Lightning McQueen, Tow Mater, Holly Shifwell, Francisco Bernoulli, and then also a translucent version of Lightning McQueen. I actually remember Mater being the character that I first got after I got Disney Infinity. When I pre-ordered it at GameStop in 2013, you got to pick one character for free for pre-ordering it, and I picked Mater. And finally, the last playset in Disney Infinity was the Toy Story playset. Buzz, Woody, Jesse, and finally a translucent version of Buzz Lightyear. And if memory serves me well, I'm pretty sure Buzz and Lane McQueen was in a two-pack together. Next, I'm gonna show you guys my toy box figure. So we have Ralph and Vanellope, Anna, Elsa, Rapunzel, Jack Skellington, Phineas, Harry, Crystal version of Harry, Sorcerer Mickey, and finally, the Crystal version of Sorcerer Mickey. And here's an overview of all 37 Disney Infinity 1.0 figures. Disney Infinity 2.0 gave us the release of Marvel characters and we got three playsets, the Avengers playset, the Spider-Man playset, and the Guardians of the Galaxy playset. No Disney or Pixar playsets though. So for the Avengers, you have Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, Thor, Hulk, Hawkeye, Falcon, and Loki. For the Spider-Man playset, you have Spider-Man, Iron Fist, Nova, Nick Fury, Venom, and the Green Goblin. And the final playset was the Guardians playset. We have Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket, Groot, Drax, Yondu, and Ronan the Accuser. And fun fact, in Disney Infinity 2.0, the Guardians of the Galaxy released the exact same year as 2.0, so this was a brand new team of characters that most people didn't know of. And in Disney Infinity 2.0, even though we didn't have any specific Disney or Pixar playsets, they did put in some Disney and Pixar characters. Here's Stitch, Merida, Donald Duck, Tinkerbell, Aladdin and Jasmine, Maleficent, Baymax, and Hero. And here's an overview of all 30 Disney Infinity 2.0 figures. In Disney Infinity 3.0, we had the introduction of Star Wars characters to the games, and we have three Star Wars playsets, Twilight of the Republic, Rise Against the Empire, and The Force Awakens. In the Twilight of the Republic playset, we have Anakin, Ahsoka, Kenobi, Yoda, and Darth Maul. An interesting fact about this Yoda, as you can see, there's like a black thing underneath the base, and that's because this Yoda is a light VFX figure, which means when I put him on the base, his saber lights up. And there's multiple Star Wars characters that has this feature, but they were more expensive than your normal figure. You can either get them with the light-up version or the regular. I don't have all the light-up versions, but I do have some of them. For the Rise Against the Empire playset, we have Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Boba Fett, Darth Vader. And this Vader is also a light VFX, so his saber will glow red. And finally, we have the Force Awakens playset. We have Rey, Finn, Poe, and Kylo Ren. We also had some Rebel characters. We had Ezra Bridger, Sabine, Zeb, and finally, Kanan. Now, Inside Out was released in 2015 when 3.0 came out, and you had an Inside Out playset that came with anger, joy, sadness, disgust, and and fear. Next, let's go over the Marvel Battlegrounds playset, which was basically a Disney Infinity version of Super Smash Bros. In that playset, we got a new version of Captain America, Steve Rogers. This is based off of the Winter Soldier version of him, and him and Mickey are the only characters in Disney Infinity to get a second version of them made. We also had Black Panther, Ant-Man, Vision, Ultron, the Hulkbuster, 
and black suit Spider-Man. And here's the comparison with Hulkbuster and Hulk. So Hulkbuster is a little bit bigger than him. And the final playset was the Finding Dory playset, which this playset actually came out after Disney Infinity was canceled. It came out in June of 2016 and Disney Infinity was canceled in May of 2016. And in that playset, you had Dory and Nemo. And I love how colorful their bases are. Disney Infinity 3.0 had two exclusive playsets that you could purchase for the toy box. That would be the Toy Box Takeover and the Disney Infinity Speedway. In the toy box, we have Mickey, Minnie, Olaf, who actually has a hidden Mickey on that flower, Mulan, Nick and Judy Hops, Sam and Cora from Tron Legacy, Spot from The Good Dinosaur, Baloo, Alice the Mad Hatter, and Time. And these are their versions from Alice Through the Looking Glass. And this was the second set of characters to release before Disney Infinity got canceled. The very last set of figures was the Finding Dory playset. So this came out in May of 2016 and the Finding Dory playset came out in June of 2016. And that's all the Disney Infinity figures from Disney Infinity 3.0. And now, even though these are all the figures, I have the most exclusive Disney Infinity figure who never got to release Peter Pan. Disney Infinity actually had an event where the top toy box creators would come down and compete into making the best world and they all got to choose on a future figure to come to the game and they all chose Peter Pan. But unfortunately, he does not work in the game as the game is not updated to handle him. One day if they ever did update the game, he has his game code tag right at the bottom so I would be able to play as him. And I was able to get Peter Pan because someone that worked in the Disney Infinity factory, they were supposed to throw out all the Peter Pan figures, but someone took a few of them home and sold them and I was able to grab one of them. Here is all 46 characters from Disney Infinity 3.0. If you want to count Peter Pan, it's going to be 47 figures. And here is every single Disney Infinity figure. I hope you guys all enjoyed me going over every single Disney Infinity figure. I've been a fan since day one in August of 2013. It's crazy it's going to be 10 years old this year. And it breaks my heart knowing that we're never going to see any more Disney Infinity content ever get released. If you guys were a fan of Disney Infinity, I would love to know some of your Disney Infinity memories in the comments down below. I didn't show you guys my power discs in this video, but that's because I don't own every single one. If you guys would be interested in seeing my collection though, let me know and I might make a video on it. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and remember, your imagination has infinite possibilities.